。西方的民间故事里面，有时会出现耳朵尖尖的小精灵，他们很善良，乐于助人。像这三位小精灵，就帮这位老鞋匠擦鞋子。有学者认为，这些角色的原型应该是罹患威廉氏症的儿童。小精灵他尖尖的耳朵，表示他们对声音很敏感，他们也很喜欢唱歌。以上这些都是威廉氏症患者的特质。Tuesday evening, when there was a concert, uh, and、um, just as soon as it began, everyone there responded to the music. They got the rhythm, the beat exactly. They harmonised. They ad libbed. There was part singing. And suddenly, one realised this is a, amongst other things, a highly musical species. I find myself not wanting to say Williams Williams syndrome. I want to say Williams people. I mean, they do seem to me、uh, a people with an identity of their own, which is which is different. Gloria is, is one of the most accomplished, if not the most accomplished, person here in terms of、uh, of a trained voice. And a sort of self-confidence as a performer, although everyone here is a natural performer. Center of my life, no doubt about it. She's a very special person. I feel she's a gift.、Uh, I call her national treasure. She comes down the stairs singing, and you take that on a blue Monday. You, you know, it's raining. It's miserable. It's been raining for three weeks, and here comes Gloria down the stairs on Monday morning singing. So I say everybody should have a Gloria on a Monday morning. She just breaks through that gloom, and when you realize all she has to contend with, and still there's that wonderful joyfulness in her. Those good things for you.
for Gloria actually uh, sings in 23 languages. Tagalog, Hebrew. Including English, 22 foreign languages. And French, and, and Yiddish, and German, and Spanish, and... She can pick up any of them in, within a half an hour to an hour. Japanese, Korean, Macedonian, Bulgar Bulgarian, Korean, you name it. I know that when I teach Gloria, I come away with a new sense every time I see her of what life is all about. And it's not about Williams syndrome, and it's not about singing. It goes far deeper into the human spirit. Most people with Williams syndrome love interaction, they love engagement, they love to catch your eye and get a smile and I almost feel like that that's candy for them. It's like, oh good, I caught another smile or like someone fishing, I caught one and it felt so good. If I ever get a chance to actually oh go on a real recording studio with a big bass fiddle, yeah. believe me, I'll call you so I can record with you, man. Yeah, I work at Cracker Barrel, I'm a greeter. I bet you're good at that. I am. I always take people to their tables and I make everybody happy. I heard nice compliments. The bosses are very happy and I make everybody happy. I'm a happy man for the rest of my life. Williams people are very musical. They love music. They love arts. They love dancing. So that's a very cool thing about Williams Syndrome. I think there is something special about Williams Syndrome and music in, in a couple of ways. I mean, so many people with Williams Syndrome have intense emotional responses to music, intensely happy. So I, I just think a lot of people with Williams Syndrome feel music uh, more emotionally. Williams syndrome is a kind of disease. The patient's of 在智能方面，威廉氏症会造成空间能力偏弱，不太能掌握图像的整体。这跟他们顶叶后方区域的功能低下密切相关。这张图的蓝色区域是威廉氏症比较弱的脑区，而橘色是比较强的部分。像这里
It hurts my jaw sometimes I smile too much. <laughs> Why are you smiling so much? I don't know. Is that a good thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good thing. I hope I smile too much too. <laughs> my husband um, joined the Navy and so I moved to Virginia. So we still see each other, just not as often as we did. If you had one wish, what would it be? For her to come home and stay home for good. Why do you want that? Because it's hard when I live with my mom and sometimes I feel like I'm the only one there. We uh, literally do everything together. Go shopping together, to the grocery store together, <laughs> watch TV together. So um, it's hard to learn how to do those things on your own. She's been there for me for a long time and I'm really happy that she has. Don't cry, Victoria. She just is the picture of the little angel with a smiling mouth. This kind of facial expression can be seen in William Shatner's children. Maybe every person has a beautiful, warm, and gentle angel.